this morning, UPT is having their annual shareholders meeting, and we're sounding the alarm that their shareholder values are at risk. My name is Frida Cathcart. I'm from Roanoke, Virginia, and I'm a Dominion shareholder. And I have experienced the how uh, boondoggle affects share values. Uh, first, for the VC summer plant um, that was owned by Scana um, down in South Carolina, who um, we, our dividend checks went to nothing with that. And going to the shareholder meeting in regards to um, what to do about what happened with this Scana. It was a $9 billion boondoggle that Scana was involved with. And hearing a retiree from the company who had worked so hard for so many years, her dividend checks went from $6,000 a quarter down to $2,000 a quarter down to nothing. So this has real impacts on people, hardworking people that trusted when they invested that they could count on the dividend checks and that value. Um, then uh, Dominion bought Scana, which is how I became a Dominion shareholder. I was originally a Scana shareholder. And with Dominion's investment in the Atlantic Coast Pipeline, that was a multi-billion dollar loss. That reduced our dividend checks last at uh, the end of 2020 down to a third of what they used to be. And just recently, Dominion has invested in the Mountain Valley Pipeline, or contracted with the Mountain Valley Pipeline, I should say, for the capacity from it, which obligates Dominion for capacity gas from an expensive pipeline that there's no need for it. There's no market for it. And if the pipeline is completed and goes online, it's going to be a huge obligation and loss that will have detrimental effects. For the shareholders in EQT, you're in the same boat. You have a contract with MVP for capacity. There's no market for it. There's no economic necessity for the pipeline. It needs to be canceled. It is a bad project. It was a mistake. So please tell the officers and the board of directors to cancel the project. It's time for the companies behind the Mountain Valley Pipeline, which is Equitrans Midstream, NextEra Energy, Con Edison, Alta Gas, and RGC Resources to admit that they made a mistake, cut their losses, and move on. Thank you for your time.